Hello, and welcome to Mine a Lot Plays Banished. Um, I've played Banished a bit, so I kind of know what I'm doing. I do have a couple of mods. Um, I have the Colonial Charter Turbo and Unlimited Mines and Quarries. Um, and I'm playing hard on a hard map. Can you see that? Do we? Is there any way to show the settings? Hmm. Oh well. Um, gonna give kind of a slow start here. There we go. So if you have not played Banish before, there are lots and lots and lots of videos out there and plays and but most of it's from a while ago, except for one one YouTuber I follow, uh, Quill, he had some recent stuff up. But beyond that, there hasn't been a lot of new stuff. Um what is going on here? Did I lose my mouse? Uh, oh, duh, you don't select people. You select things. Okay, so Banished. Um, you start off in the middle of some place, and the map I'm at. Uh, I got some water to the side here, where the traders can come in. Um, a little bit of a hills some small mountains that I can tap into for resources not much open area for trees which is I mean I can put a forester's camp here and everything maybe another one up here maybe not sure I like this map oh okay we got now we got some room up here we'll just have to plant trees basically Lots and lots of resources. Uh, actually, do I want to go up first or over first? I think I'm going to go over first. So I'm going to be building things sideways. That I'm, I might mess this up because it's going to be not how I'm used to. So, let us. So the build I'm going to be doing is kind of a. Uh, um, I'm borrowing from somebody else who did a tutorial a while ago. I got to find my numbers. Sorry why I rustle some papers. Um, aha. Numbers. Numbers are good. Um, well, basically, the, the idea of this build is you want to, uh, the start, is you want to get your main, your main source of everything ready as soon as you can. And to do that, let's see here. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, to do that, you pretty much want, uh, is this going out far enough? You want to make sure you get all the resources you need first, and then you add in, and, th and then you make a stockpile, and you get out, gather it all up, and then at once you build everything. And the idea is, is they're much more efficient if they're grabbing all the resources, and then they can bring all the resources to each building site from the stockpile and they're not traveling all over the place looking for that one piece of wood they need or the one piece of stone they need um... let's see here, so... I'm trying to think... I'm actually, I'm gonna place my foresters camp first just to try to... try to get a, a feel for where... Actually, I think. Ooh. I think I'm gonna have the forces camp down here. Man, this was not a good location. And then. I'm gonna put up a. Gathers. Yeah, so there's, there's basically. Two really basic buildings you want really early, and that's the forces camp. Um. I'm sorry, not the forces. Yeah, the forces lodger, which gathers uh, trees for you, or cuts on trees for logs, and you want a gatherer's hut, or what's it called? Gatherer's hut, yes. And okay, so that that works. Alright, now back to the roads. So right next to these guys, gonna build a bit of a crossroad-ish. 
And okay. So other buildings are gonna go out that way and houses are gonna come this way. And what other buildings am I talking about? Well, well first of all, we need a stockpile. Some place to put all the goods. So this is the loggers camp. You want the you want the stockpile right next to the loggers camp. A ah, good five by five is should be decent. That way, when the guy when the logger comes in and he has all of his stuff, he can just drop the the wood right in here. I'll make it up this big. And then on the other side of that. I want a woodcutter. And since the woodcutter is going to be right next to the stockpile where all the wood's going to be, uh, the woodcutter is not going to spend any time walking around trying to get to um, the resources he needs because he can pick up and drop and then he'll drop off. Uh, actually, he's going to drop off at the storage barn, which is going to be right next to both him and the gatherer's hut. So Gather's Hut goes to drop off the food right here. Not a, don't have to go anywhere. Um, and now there's one other building uh, that I like to have placed early. I don't actually build it right away. But I definitely want it placed early and I'm going to start using it as early as I can. Is the Hunter's Lodge, which I must find. Sorry, I'm... I have played this a few times, but... I don't remember things are a oh, hunter cabin. There we go. Put that here. So if, uh, you see, I'm getting close to the the water here, so I'm actually not going to be too effective with this. But that should still give me a decent amount. Ah, oh, too bad that's water. If this was just land, right from here to here, if I could just sculpt land in there, that would be awesome. I'm sure there's a mod that would let me do that. Um. All right. So basics. Gatherer's Hut, Forester's Lodge, uh, Woodcutter, and a Storage Barn. And then secondary, but still want early, is your hunting cabin. Then you want houses. So you typically want... You want about... Oh, you, you need five houses because you have five families to start with. But you actually want to make six so you can start off with a new family right away. So I'm just going to build the three just like that. And another three on the other side. Okay, so that's everything I plan on building right away. Um, shortly thereafter, I'll be building a blacksmith over here and a tailor over here. Because the first thing we gotta, we're going to run out of is food. The second thing we're going to run out of is firewood, and then we're going to run out of um, tools, and then we're going to run out of clothing. Um, it's pretty much in that order. And we want to race things up so it doesn't happen. Okay, so for, okay, so I got everything ready to build, but I don't really want to build everything right away. What I want them to do is just collect everything. I just want to know where things go, and I want them to do the stockpile. So I ran the numbers just by adding up how much everything takes to build um, and I probably miscounted so if you count and you find this different than what I have and I don't even know if I have the sixth house or or the hunting club, hunting cabin but pretty much I know I need at least 182 logs and 80, 80 stone so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get quite a bit of stone just from all the buildings I placed that's gonna throw me off because they won't actually collect that until I start actually building um, but for the for the trees, I can start that right away. Um, so you want to pay attention to these two buildings. You do not want to grab trees from the gatherer's hut range. That's just that's going to work against you, or pretty much, or the hunting cabin. But more specifically, the gatherer's hut. Um, the reason is is the more mature trees you have in this radius, the more food you're going to get. And you do want to get all of the stone, and then when you switch over to getting iron, you want to get all the stone and iron out of this range. Because as soon as it's out of this range, for the Forester's Lodge, they'll plant more trees. 
they can't plant it over iron and stone. Although, if the forester gets bored or runs out of work to do, he'll actually slowly collect the stone and the iron. I don't know if he removes it from the map. I just know that he sometimes produces it, and I don't quite get the. I don't know all of that. So let's see here. So, pretty much, this is the edge. In fact, I'm gonna build a road right here just so I know. That's the edge, and I don't ever want to build anything past that. Okay. So let's grab. Uh, let's queue up the grabbing of some logs. Uh, maybe a few more here. And I have one person on build just so he can do all the roads so they travel a little bit faster. Because they're going to do their collection stuff and they're going to go to here to eat. And they're going to do that a couple times until I get everything settled up. Uh, so we will unpause. Let them start. I think they start off by having a quick meal. Idling? Why are you idling? Yeah, that's right, the kids would idle. Yeah, we have eight adults and five children currently. And I can change the settings to make it go a little faster. And there goes the trees. And so these guys are clearing off the stockpile, which is nice. Because although I didn't delete this, so I wonder if the okay good they're not putting they're not putting logs there. So we're paying attention to this log number. We want 182. Up to 51. 69. I think. Okay, we're gonna pause this. I think I'm gonna need uh, just a little bit more. And I don't know if I wanna steal it from here. Or steal it from like up here. I think I'm gonna steal it from up here. So that's my range here. So right there. I don't need a lot more, but I do need some more. That's probably too much. I'll just click that. And you really want to pay attention to where you're stealing or where you're harvesting from, because once you're close to the number you want, you you want to cancel everything they're doing uh, to do new stuff or switch tasks. Right now they're all complaining. They got houses over them. They're all complaining because they have no homes. Let's see here. So what does the colonial mod add? And it adds a couple new buildings, a couple new food sources, uh, some new clothing types. Um, I haven't quite gotten all the new stuff down. One thing to be aware of, there's a new resource. If you look like at the the colonial house, the first um, the first resource is wood, the second resource here is I think it's stone, but that third one, that yellow resource, that's rope. To get rope you need a chain of a few things. Oh wait, how much wood do I have? 161, so we are close to what I need. In fact, I think that's probably all they need. Yeah, that's way more than they need. So just collect it all up and then pause it, tell them to get some stone. So let's grab stone here. So it's kind of annoying. You can't say collect the stone from where the buildings are because they're they're gonna do that anyways. But I'd like to be able to prioritize. Hey, grab the stone here first, so I know how much you're gonna be picking up. But it doesn't matter. So how much stone do I need? I need uh, better location for my numbers. No, 80 stone. So I think. Right, so we got 176 logs. Yeah, we got 185. We're good. So now we just need the stone. Oh, 215. Oh no, too many logs. No, it's okay. A few extra logs is not a bad thing. Um, 
Again, we want to grab the stone from in here. Yeah, they're going to go off and get some food. Have a little snack break. They eat pretty quick. They didn't even complain about having to work outside in the rain without any place to rest. It's, uh... Kind of skip. I think the game just kind of skips nighttime, which is good because you know what 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 happens at nighttime? They just sleep. Who wants to watch them sleeping? Fifty-two. I think very soon they're gonna have all the stone we need. Plus, we're gonna get a lot of stone for clearing things out too. So we're gonna have plenty of extra stone, which you need stone for later goods. Um, and yeah, that should be enough. So we're gonna. We're gonna cancel. Let's go out and cancel everything. Cancel all the things. Okay. So now they got everything they want. They'll, they'll drop off that few extra stone, and if they don't, that's fine. I have. I'll, I'll be getting more. So, what's the first thing you need to build? At this point, it doesn't really matter what you build next. You 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 want all of these things built before you do the houses. Um. If you do them a couple things at a time, they're a little more effective at it. Um, you definitely want the gatherer's hut up, or the yeah, the gatherer's hut and the storage barn. Um, notice I did not put a lot of people as builders, and the reason is you don't really need a lot of people build, uh, people building. So look, I had one person build, but this thing got all of his resources really quick because laborers can do most of the work of a building. They can do everything but the actual build step. So as long as you have all the goods you need, the more resources, you can go and build all the stuff up. So I'm gonna, and then later on you can come back and let them use their hammers, or you know, assign them as builders and let them use their hammers. So this one's got all of his resources. Actually, we're going to start, we're going to go up to four builders to start actually building stuff. Okay, he's got all of his. We'll unpause the hunting cabin. We'll unpause five of the houses. So, just to warn you, once they have the houses built, um, you're suddenly going to run out of, you're going to like instantly run out of, have a shortage of food and firewood and everything else. And the reason that is is because once they have houses, they go and grab everything and put it in their house. And whatever is in their house does not count towards your total stockpiles. Alright, so... Let's up my builders. Keep one laborer. Okay, gather his huts up. I'm not going to worry about putting anyone to work until everything's built. Or at least everything but the last house. Uh, the one exception is I'm actually going to populate the hunting cabin. And the only reason being... Um, where are you guys going? Oh. You're finishing the roads. Um, I want to start getting a stockpile of um, leather so I can make for, um, <sighs> make clothing. So it's late summer. Almost everything's built. So, oh man, just one more, one more click away. But he had, they had to go off and eat. Then once the houses come up, they're all gonna be spending time um, dealing with that. Yep. And there we go. Put someone in here. 
Uh, I have too many workers. Let's see here. So, right. So logs are down. Let's put some people to work in the for in the log industry. I think four builders can finish off what we have. Oh wait, that wasn't log. That was gather. No, that was. Yeah, we got foresters and one woodcutter. I have some. I have a hunter. Um, I think I'll stay like that until we get a couple more houses built. And then I'll start putting more people together in food. They are out of clothing. No, not yet. So yeah, food, firewood, all my all my supplies just disappeared. Why? Because um, people just went and grabbed everything from all the resources. It's just the way it works. Alright. So we're out of food and out of firewood. We're almost out of logs. Put someone else to work at the gatherer's hut. And another person in the forest. In between those two, we should get enough food and firewood to make everyone happy. As long as the firewood comes in before it gets really cold. So yeah, they, they have food in their place, but they don't have any no firewood. So yeah. So yeah, he just grabbed all the logs we had and then went and chopped away. So it turns out I probably could have done with a little more wood just because the wood gets eaten up right away but eh, what happens. Alright so now I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna plan what I got here. I got two builders, I'm gonna go down to one um, I wanna build a blacksmith but I need well, I need iron but I can there's enough iron laying around that I'm okay. But the, what I really need is a couple extra wood before anything anything major happens. So we're going to plan... I'm going to put a stockpile right here. Build some road up to there. And then... Gonna harvest some trees. Let's get rid of those. Uh, I do need a little more stone. Oops. Gotta get the stone first. You want all the stone that's in your forest first. And get some iron. Oops, start here first. Uh, iron. Nothing there. A little bit there. Not much in the range. Alright. So, give the laborer something to do. It'll take them a little bit of time. We finally have a stockpile of some food. Alright, let's watch them for a little bit. See, they go to the store. Wow, storage bin is now empty. Everything's gone. But none of the houses are complaining because they all have some food and some firewood. Maybe not a lot of food and maybe not a lot of firewood, but they have enough that they're happy. Um, the woodcutter's not happy because he has no wood. Um, so one of the things to keep in mind of before you do lots and lots of building is you want to make sure that you don't run out of your base materials. Like right now I only have three logs and I have a little bit of stone and a little bit of iron. And and the reason that is is once once your um once your logs run out, 
your 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 everything becomes a lot less efficient. Like you have nothing for your woodcutters. You also need logs for your your, your um blacksmiths. So you know if you if you find like you got a mid-sized you know a, a population of like 80 people, but you can't seem to keep up with your firewood or your 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 tools, chances are it's not because you need another a woodcutter or another blacksmith. It's most likely a supply chain problem. You don't have the resources available for them, or they're just traveling way too far to get a little bit of resource. Um, all right, so they're slowly building that up. I still don't have much iron. Yeah, they're not. I don't have a lot of laborers, so I'm not really getting a lot of production here, and that's that's really bad. Um, because before next winter, I have to have the tailor up, and pretty soon I have to have more tools coming in. Because I, I have six children, so when they become laborers, they're going to use up the last six tools. And then if any tools break, we'll be out of tools. Um, but I know I need, I need quite a bit. Uh, more children, yeah. No, I have higher population and I have tools. But I finally have a surplus of firewood. My log supply is still kind of sad, but it is there. Hmm. Something I didn't know. S firewood's going stockpiles. I don't know why I didn't know that. I have six leather. That's not good. Um, not much wood, but I, I gotta start working on tools. And I'm worried about clothing too. Not happy about that. I'm sorry, guys. Something is needs to die in my computer. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if you guys saw that or not or heard that. Uh, if you did, like again, I'm sorry. I, I did not mean uh, to let that come through. Da 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 da. What am I looking here? Oh, that's right. We're gonna do a blacksmith. So hopefully, I can do a mine. Actually, we're going to plan for the mine, just so I know what I can do. We need... We'd like to do two mines. Um, one ore. Mines are picky. It's like, you have to be so far... Some of it has to be in the mountain. So I can have one here. And... That's it. Hmm. Is that really an enough? Oh, that is enough. Can I can I squeeze one down here? All right. So I'm just planning the mines just so I know where they're gonna be. Um, because one's gonna be iron, one's gonna be coal, and then I'll have a stone cutter quarry somewhere. I don't know where. Um. And yeah, we're going to use this space up here for another forester's area. I guess that place is going to be too small to use as a forester's area. That's okay. Okay, so those two mines are going to go there. So then the blacksmith... Right. He can just go next to this storage place, which is fine. So, 32 iron... 55 stone, 32 wood. Um, yeah, I want to do this blacksmith, but I don't have the resources yet. So we're going to grab... I don't need a lot more iron, but I do need some. Uh... 
That should do it. And I need a little bit more stone. Hmm. There, we can grab that. And that, that should be plenty. And then I need more... More logs. Where to get more logs? Hmm. Should we grab some logs from up there? Sure, we'll grab some logs from up here. That'll be plenty. Unfortunately, I do not have enough laborers to go grab all that stuff, so we'll take off the builder for now. If our food goes up high enough, I'll, I'd drop our gatherers, but uh, definitely I want to increase my hunting cabin soon. Just because I need... I, the venison's cool, but I really need the leather. Um, the only other way you can get leather in this game, I think it's from cows. I'm not sure if any of the other new items give you leather. But... Um, definitely something you want to trade for early. Uh, just so you can make enough coats, because, again, it's really not... It's not a problem of having enough people making the coats, like, enough people to do it. It's the resources that, you, that I keep on running out of that stops me from producing as many coats as I want. Uh, if you limit 200, you know what? We're just going to bump this to 500, just because stockpiles. Does, I mean, I can I can make more stockpiles. And food, I'm going to bump up to 10,000. Just for now, I keep on bumping up food. There's really no reason not to. They'll they'll just keep on filling up the storage barns until they're all full, and then you get a warning. It is early spring, and I still don't have. Well, do I have the resources I need? I have enough logs. Still short on stone. Again, almost enough iron. It's really stone I need. Sixty stone. I got enough. We're gonna do it. So I have no one assigned to build, but this will still happen. Because the laborers will come over here, they'll do they'll deliver all the materials and then I can go switch on a builder. I might do that anyways. my iron down to 25. Did someone get delivered? No. Is someone hoarding my iron? That would not be good. I have another laborer. My forest is filling in. Which is nice. Um... I have three of four for or uh, yeah, foresters currently working. I kind of need that just for the logs. Where did that iron go? It's not here. I could have swore I had enough. But I'm down the 28 iron. I need 32. Yeah, my logs just vanished because I took up 32 for this. Pretty sure I have orders to get more iron, but no, I don't want to collect from there. That's too far away from that to care. Grab that. Actually, I, I don't care if I grab a little extra iron because um, we will definitely need iron to make the tools. Reserve of food tools is low. Yep. Hopefully, I get this built and working before um, before I run out of tools. Because if your blacksmith doesn't have a tool, 
That's uh, really, really bad. Unfortunately, he's going to have to go over to the storage barn to deliver up. Well, I think he can deliver a little bit of tools. Yeah, he can deliver the tools to the storage cart. We are short on iron just a little bit. And then we can start... And the builders can finally start hammering this up. Yeah, my iron's low. Is someone eating iron? I don't... I don't get it. Uh-oh. My forest is out of tools. That's not good. This could be a troubling winter. I, I seem to have failed. I didn't get enough, um... I had a shortage of uh, logs. So I think next time I'm going to collect a few more logs before I build everything. Alright, I have two builders assigned to this building. I'll have to get over here and build this up. Um, we're going to go ahead and chop these trees. Give the laborers something to do if they run out of tasks. Just because we really need more logs. Because... Uh-oh. Trying to build a building without any tools. That's gotta be painful. What would they do? Do they like hammer in the, the everything using their fists? Alright, we need someone here. Quickly. So, someone becomes a blacksmith and then they're gonna first run out and grab all the log and iron they need and then they'll start building things. And then, because I don't want my blacksmith wasting too much time, they'll have a house right there. And I need a tailor. This is just if you haven't noticed, this is gonna be kind of my my city main and I'll kinda go up here to this river to do trading and whatnot. We're going yeah, well yeah. Actually, pause this. We don't have the log, the stone or the iron. Plenty of log and stone for that house. He's got his iron and his logs, so he'll start producing tools. Hopefully. How far is he? Where's he doing? Where's he going? Ah! Pin! Oh. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, so he's working. That was disappointing. He went way over there to drop that off. I thought he'd drop it off right here, so... In that case, I need a storage barn right next to him. Uh, first, can I delete this? Tear that down. We have two tools! Yay! Is visiting the herbalist? I don't have a herbalist. Why are you using the herd list? Okay, now you're working. That's good to hear. Once this is gone, I can put in the storage barn. Surprised at how long it takes for this thing to get removed. Finding someplace warm. It is late autumn. We are out of clothing, which is really bad. 
Logs, stone, iron, I got it all. But I need that storage barn. I need this gone. Some reason no one's taking this away. That's odd. Oh, the blacksmith is living here. They changed. They changed jobs. <laughs> I like how they, they. They. I don't know when that was changed, but now they. They tend to. Uh, switch jobs so that they live closer to where they can work. Um, so if you look at your path. And this is something you should do every once in a while. You can see how far someone has to walk to get to work. Um, so if you see someone in this building walking way over here to go home, uh, that's really bad. And I'm out of logs again. I'm out of logs because both the fire cutter and or the, the wood cutter and the blacksmith both want logs. Oh, and I'm building. So you really do need a lot of people in the forest. Well, up to the floor. Let's see here. Now, the fact that we don't have it's winter again, and I don't have clothing. That's not a good thing. Unfortunately, reserve of stone is low. I am out of stone. I swear, someone's eating the stone. Because stone is not used for production of anything that I know of. Plenty of stone. I'm gonna drop this down to one builder because. It, well, I guess it, maybe I do need two in there now. Not that it has all the resources it needs. Because I don't need stone to build this. In fact, I don't need stone for anything that I know of to do my next building. And their health is going down. Why? Because they have no... Uh, doesn't say if whether they have clothing or not. I'll have to go get some food. Yeah, once I get... Once I get enough materials and this thing gets built, I can put a storage barn here, and that'll make the blacksmith a lot happier, happier because then the blacksmith gets us drop off the tools right there. Uh, down to one builder, and hide coat. You need leather. And how much leather do I have? Uh, eight. Uh, I think they grabbed some though. Yep, you have ten leather. Good, good. Grab a storage barn. Oops, speed it up. Get my road out to here. So coal would be nice to have, just so they'd have something better than firewood to use. Ooh, I hit my firewood limit. I'm gonna up that. Um, 
Specifically because you can sell firewood when you trade. And that helps a lot. I need a quarry. What do I want my quarry? I seem to have a... S I want a constant supply of stone. On my oh logs. And I need a second forester. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't have enough citizens yet to do too much. Narg. No, that's where my other force is gonna go. I can have a quarry way out here. I mean, not like I'm gonna do anything else with this land. Let's check. What is my range on this hunting cabin? Okay, so. Right. Let's. Bring this out. Uh, wait. Not. Gotta be careful here. It's not completed, but it'll worry. Yeah, oh wow, I only missed one spot. That's cool. Logs and iron. Ooh, iron. Must, 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 must get more iron. We got all the iron from every place that we're gathering from, all the where all the trees are. Max limit of tools. No, tools go up too. Why do tools go up? Because you can never have too many tools. Um, they sell. So the quarry will come up, let's... Those here... Can't see the road here. This is the one thing I really don't like, is you can't see through the trees. There I am. Wow. That is... There's a lot of resources there. Let's make a stockpile down here. And a house. Logs is low, logs is low. Logs is low. Why are logs low? Because everything uses them. The buildings need them. Yeah, this guy needs 80 logs. This guy wants 16. Um, hmm. You know what? Turn you into labor. Whoop! No, 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 no. Turn you into labor for now. I have a thousand firewood right now. I'm having trouble with logs, so we're gonna. We're actually almost out of food too. Not good. Where are my huntsmen? Hunters, there you are. Do not want to run out of food. That would be very, very bad. Removal, nothing there. Fortunately, they did not remove this one silly tree yet, so they're not using the stockpile. So they're all coming here, grabbing all this stuff, bringing it all the way over to here, which is almost full. That's just silly. Uh, 
Oh, I just got a whole bunch more laborers. Come on, just tear this one thing down, make the stockpile open. Someone. No? They're all dropping off all the resources. More children being built? I'm built. Born. Uh, I will need to, I Actually, I'm past the time when I should have a school. But I've been trying to expand, 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 and... Uh, when you when you first get your school up for like uh, quite a few years, it delays how many laborers you're gonna get. My iron ran out again. Looks like I'm gonna need one of these mines up soon. Luckily, the mines did not need iron, which is good. Oh, I have. I have orders to pick up iron. I just haven't finished yet. I don't have enough laborers. They can't keep up with all my all my demands to pick up stuff. Yeah. I have lots of iron. It's just the laborers haven't gotten around to clearing them out. This guy just needs two more pieces of iron. And then the builders come up here and start building, which is nice. Food is low, supposedly. So let's see. No, not the foresters. Gather us up. How are you doing on your production? Nice. Almost uh, 2,000 for three people. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hunting cabin. Not quite as nice. Although I just upped this from one to four, or one to three, I think. Although I thought it was two. So hunting cabin, not nearly as much food, but it does give you leather, which to me is way more important. Oh, they're finally building that. No one's removed that one piece yet, which is silly. notification my food's low. My food's I said around 600 which is not high but I wouldn't say that's low. I'm gonna need the mine soon just to get my iron or first I'm gonna need the stone so I can keep on building. Then I'm gonna need um uh no I need a school and I need I need more, I need more food and logs. Logs seem to be my biggest problem right now. So, with that being the reality, wait. let's go forth and build another community here. Um, right, so we'll build a house. If I hit the right key... Um... Right. And then... Forester's Lodge... Good, good, good. Stockpile. I'll make this a big one. And what else do I want? Um, storage barn. And a hunter's lodge. So notice I'm going for a hunting cabin. I need more houses. 
Um, oh, awesome, they got that up. I'm going for a hunter cabin. Um, before I do. Okay. Let's put one guy to work. Oh, we'll put two people to work. Um, before I do the gather set over there, just because I want. Oh, I just thought of something. Be careful where I build here. I want a marketplace here, and I want this marketplace to get these houses. Where is it? Oh, I screwed up. That's a bummer. Well, how close can I get? Not close at all. So that's the closest I can get from Marketplace. I'm gonna do it. Although I'm gonna pause it. Just because that's gonna destroy my resources. Okay. We need stone. And iron. I don't need anywhere near as much iron, but if I collect all this stuff around here, that'll be cool. Is there any other house over here? How's my firewood doing? Ah, uh, it's getting low. We need a fire. We need another wood cut. We need wood cut back. Blah. Tools. Oh, we're doing awesome on tools. 117. Clothing, we're keeping up. Um, people are going to start dying soon, so I need to figure out where I'm going to put my graveyard. Uh, hmm. I put my graveyard up there. So. Take this road. Want to here. The graveyard's going to take up a lot of. Um. Our cemetery. It's gonna take up a lot of resources. Too large. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, seventy stone. That's actually I'm okay with that. Might have to do a tunnel through here eventually. That's interesting. Why are hide coats going way over there? Hide coats should go to here. This is not near full. I wonder if the person who works here just lives too far away. I'm sure, if I did my pathing check right now, I'd have people walking all over the place. Alright, I got enough. I want to school up. Yeah, get ourselves a school. Although right now I only have 20, uh, that's you're interesting, I have 20 adults and 13 children, so almost half my pop well, half of my population is children, and that's because I haven't been building a lot of houses, so I have, you know, I, I have some older family. Well, well, here we have a 19-year-old still living with the parents, just because they have nowhere else to live right now. Um, uh, caught up on fire. Okay. Let's 
Still in the middle of 200? Uh, let's up that to about 500. What are we building? We're building this. And you're probably still needing stuff removed. I think I'm going to build the marketplace. And what the marketplace will do is it'll put, make it so people can readily access um, all of the things. No, I don't have enough logs to. I think I need more foresters. I built lots and lots, or I, I updated how many forester lodges I have, so the workers just split where they work, but. I still don't have... I, I have room for more people to work, so... So it doesn't... When you up your labor for a building, it actually ups it for everyone that does that job. And it splits them evenly unless you go through and say, oh no, this location I only want, instead of the max people I can have, I only really only want two people there. And then it'll, it'll rebalance people that way. Kind of a nice feature. I do that for mine, so if I decide I want... You know, I have one mine for coal, one mine for ore, uh, iron, then if I need more of one than the other, then I'll split and say, no, no, just uh, do what you want, the other location. I do not have the logs for this yet. Oh, yeah, I do. Good. Wait, how many logs are you going to eat up by this? Oh, you're almost done. And 70 stone. 40 iron. Yep, I can do this now, too. Um, lots and lots of laborers. Let's up the building a little bit. Get some of these buildings done. You don't have the leather you need. I have lots of hunters. Max out my hunters. If I would check down to 700, we're gonna put that back up. And food, 700, uh, that'll go up because I just put more hunters out. Check my stocks. Make sure they're not completely full, because if they're completely full, then people are walking further away to do the few jobs, or the few to drop off goods. Put one person to work at the market. You don't really need a lot more than that. Well, looks like I got most of my buildings done. more stone here and then some hammers and we'll get my graveyards up which is good because I imagine people are gonna start dying on me yeah, my food is low how's my food low anything else I can I guess I could put one more person to his gatherer of course the marketplace kind of messes up my numbers because he goes and grabs the everything and puts it in here Although I, I'm pretty sure this still counts towards your totals. I could be wrong. Okay, so how does the marketplace help? Basically, if this person right here wants to go get some food, uh, they'll first check the nearest storage bar. No, oh, is the food there? No, there's no food there. So then they'll walk over to the next storage bar that has food in it. Unless there's a marketplace. And the marketplace will actively go grab goods from other storage locations. So even though the gatherer's hut's way over here, this has 
you know, f various foods. It has wood from the or firewood from the woodcutter, coats from the tailor, and so anyone looking for supplies, they can come over to here and get what they need. And someone died. And I have a grave in my graveyard. Okay, make someone a teacher. Cut my builders down to one. So right now, the only thing I'm not producing that I'm consuming is iron. Uh, we're actually going to up my my limit of firewood. My limit of logs is a thousand and I never even got close to that. Although I now have two foresters running. Almost a full capacity. Basically, once once this mine's done and he starts making iron, and I'm not gonna make coal right away, um, then my city is gonna be pretty much self-sustaining. I'll have I'll have enough for town. You know, I'll have enough of everything I'm producing to keep my people alive. Although there's actually one more thing I want to make. I want to make an herbalist. Uh, the herbalist helps them uh, be happy. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Not happy, healthy. I actually don't have a town hall yet. Um, Alright. Put uh, one more house there. One more house there. Build some roads. And build a stockpile. I always put a stockpile next to my mines. Just so when they mine stuff, they, they, they can just drop it off right next to here. Although there's a stockpile right in the middle here, I could, they could use that, I suppose. All my resources are going to go pretty low. I'm starting to get some students, yay! So now it's going to be a long time before I get any more new laborers. Um, because... Uh, the, st the students... Yeah, I just did a lot of a lot of build requests, so All right, iron, yes. Grab one of my laborers. My food is low. Well, my food's low. I just built a whole bunch of houses. So what that's gonna do is cause Oh. No, we want more coats. Uh, that, that causes your stockpiles to disappear because... Oh! I got a house! I have to quickly fill it with food and firewood and everything else. Actually, right now I think I want to cut down my woodcutters by one. You always want at least one, preferably more, laborers. Even if you have nothing assigned to them, if someone dies, um, usually you want to quickly replace the person who died, and what you don't want is you don't want, oh man, my food just not keeping up. I think it's because people are moving into houses. I'm hoping that's why, because if that's not why, then I'm in trouble. Because I'm producing food as much as I could. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. Once, um... 
when someone dies, if you have a laborer, let's see. Look, now this place is gonna go grab some, grab some food, and my supplies will disappear again. If you have a laborer, the laborer will automatically replace the person who just died. But if you have no laborers, then that job just becomes unfulfilled. So, if you're not paying careful attention, you have no laborers, and you lose something like your blacksmith, suddenly you have no blacksmith, and then you run out of tools, and things go downhill fast. Um, that's, the blacksmith is, is one of the key things you really have to keep an eye on. Um, so if you're selling tools, make sure you have a huge supply of extra. Because if you run out of tools, you're, you're, things just get really bad really fast. Because all of a sudden, everyone's less efficient, which means you're getting less food, you're making less tools. Everything you want to do just takes longer. And all around, bad things. Um, the second thing you get, just got to keep an eye on, you know, you want to make sure they have clothing and food and everything else. But um, make sure you have tools. All right, so this little mine, let's increase my mine cap. I'm not producing coal, I'm still going to increase my coal cap because I think 200 is just too low. Uh, four iron this season. Yeah, the mines don't produce a lot quickly, but they constantly produce more and more and more. And I can't believe I'm out of leather again. Well, I am producing medicine, but people are, dis are uh, chewing it up really quick. More children being born, more students. So I now have 8 students, 12 children, and 26 adults. Yes, my population is quickly becoming... Uh, younger, I, I suppose. I still have room for more. If I built more houses, people would definitely move out and um, produce more children. But I really don't want a lot more children right now because I have eight students and I have twelve children. So that's already on the way. Another tw a generation of twenty people, all to be educated, which means they'll be all be more effective um, than the than all the laborers that came to be after the game started. Um, so my town will just slowly become more effective as the younger generation gets older. But if I have a lot more children right now, if I make room for a lot more families and have even more children, then I'm gonna run, I'm, I might run out of food um, and, and clothing. So, so I'm not quite ready to do that. Now once if I get to the, once I get to a position where you know I have more students than children, then yes, then then that's a time to think of whether you want to expand or not. Um, now the game kind of does have a not as bad as it used to be, but it kind of has a um, a curve of population. Like if you stop building houses, basically your your population gets older and your children don't move out, and by the time the parents die off the children could be too old to have more children. So then, suddenly your population doesn't grow because, well, you have, you know, old, more and more old people and you have no children coming in and uh, your, your entire village could die off. Um, I don't know, I, I've never really had that problem. Now granted, I don't usually play the game till my population gets past uh, I guess 60. So I don't know if that problem is more pronounced as you get higher, higher and higher. But um, you slowly do want to produce. Ah, I'm not building enough iron, and hmm, this is not good. I guess we'll do one more. Uh, I don't want to do one more. I might need to. I don't know where that stone's going. I mean, I've had t 
two. No, I guess I've only had one person. Okay, ten. Ten a season. And my iron's gone, which means my blacksmith stopped. It's not panic time because I have a good 239 tools, but it's not good either. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of this game I haven't even gotten to yet. I have no farms, I have no seeds, I don't even have a town hall yet. Um, I can, however, one of the new things from the from the mod brings in an apiary, which allows you to produce honey, which is nice. We will we'll build one of these. Does not require seeds or anything like that. Um, I'm actually going to stop you working. So I have, yeah, I have a population of 40, almost 50, and this one woodcutter is still out producing. So, again, <laughs> if you find yourself not able to keep up with woodcutting, check your check how far he has to go to drop off the firewood. Check how far he has to go for logs, and check how many logs you have. And the blacksmith, he's definitely out producing too. And he just needs to make sure he has logs and iron. I haven't even moved up to the better, tool, better tools yet, which once I have the coal mine I will. Food resources are low. Lots and lots of students that I grab. My schoolhouse full? Not yet. All right, one of my students graduated and is now a laborer. So that that is awesome. Uh, yeah, food's low, but we now have an apiary which will give me some food. Um, so farms, farms, orchards, animals, they all produce, I think they produce a little bit better than your, your per person than a gatherer would and they require less space. Like a gatherer, uh, I guess I don't have a second gatherer. Maybe I'll need one. Um, where are you? Yeah, gather needs this much land to grab their, to, to make their food. But again, I'm making. Well, I have four people now. I'm making almost three thousand. So what is that? Six hundred. About six hundred a person. No, that's split by four. Yeah, six fifty, six fifty a person. That's that's some serious food production there. I'm getting more adults. Yay! Start making coal. Once I have a coal surplus, I can start making better tools. And I need cows. <laughs> I need leather. And even though I have two hunting cabins going, although this one doesn't have yeah, 26 leather. Hmm. Blacksmith needs iron. Oh yeah. Well, no, this doesn't take iron. This takes stone. Uh, do I have enough stone for this? No. Alright, let's go see what I can... Got any stone in here? Got any iron in here? Fine, we'll grab that iron up there. Mm -hmm. 
grab the stone over there. Okay, 30, 11, 8, and the 30, 11, 9, so I still have, still have a decent size number of people trying to join, or, uh, growing up. Uh, oh, did I grab that stone? Hmm. Lots of laborers. I'm pressing this builder. Actually, that didn't help any, because it's it's the gathering of the stone that I need. Not really the the only thing the builder really helps you with is just with the hammers. I mean, that builder can do the delivery materials too, but if you don't have the materials, then putting more people on build doesn't help. Yes, I know. I have no food. Wait, I have no food. That's not... that's new. What can I do? I can... Throw in another beekeeper. Uh, don't need more foresters. Or woodcutters. Or room for hunters. Hmm. I think I need another... Might need another gatherer's hut. Put one up here. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, even if I don't put anyone else to do gathering, just having a second location where uh, that does the stuff and then the workers split up, they, they suddenly become much more productive. And let's check... Speaking of productive, let's check my paths. Oh, oh, ooh, ouch. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Make sure no one else is being stupid. Lots and lots of laborers, good. We need more, we need another house up here. Yep, someone died, and one of my laborers replaced them. Alright, so if we put one in... Start making coal. Put a road in. That'll get built soonish. Firewood's doing okay. Um, once I have a large enough store of coal, I can switch my tool maker to start making the better tools. That won't happen for a while because all the coal that's being produced is going to be chopped up really quick by people. They're going to grab it. Um, put in their houses because they like coal instead of firewood. Well, I don't know if they use both and or or. I'm not quite sure how that is, but I know they use it. It disappears on me. Okay, gather set up to that. Let's grab one more. Good, my food's up to a thousand. 
I'll stop worrying once my food reaches uh, about 5,000. I guess most of my building projects are done, so now I gotta figure out. Okay, doing good on logs. I think I want more person in the mines. But I wanna make sure I'm getting more. Well, okay, so I'm getting more iron than coal. But if I wanna make sure that that happens, I drop this down by one, and then it's guaranteed that this one will have more people than this one. If I want, right now it's just by one. If I if I want like five and one, then I'll have to drop this one's population, max population, a lot. Um, but I'm happy with just the, the the two and one. And the tailor is still not happy. Man, I can't believe the tailor does not have enough leather. I have two, two full. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna venture out into the river. Put up a fisherman and a tradesman. Yeah, I know. Resource of food is what? Resources food is low. How is this happening? Uh, okay, so I can build wrong here, not a big deal. It's not too too much off of there. Actually, I want to go to the river over here. Just because... Mm, maybe not. Over here? Yeah, we'll go over that way. Food's fluctuating a lot. I've never having this much trouble with food before. Let's see here. We shall up my gatherers to six. I don't think I want another beekeeper. 300 a person just doesn't seem that efficient. I guess one of the things I could do is I could upgrade all my roads to stone roads. Um, but I'd, I'd need a bigger pool of stone before I could do that. So we'll start, we'll start producing more stone. In fact, I'll put another house here. Oops. Those laborers will tear apart this real quick. Drop off the logs, drop off the stone. Good times. Yeah, let's do stone. Let's put in some stone roads. We're gonna make... That's more than I have. We'll turn that into stone. Alright, well, a fun, fun playing. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I'll pick up again maybe some of the time. Bye.